Welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We have a good one for you today. Um, we're gonna get into um, uh, we're gonna get into the uh, t- fight tomorrow on the zone between Michael Menisi, the Lone Wolf, uh, an Italian super featherweight against Nike Theron. Uh, from Colombia. This is uh, an interesting fight. It's going to be a fun fight. Uh, both guys like to come forward, but this is our lock of the week. So get our Stone Cold Lock of the Week. Guys, I, I feel bad about last week. I'm going to get you all your money back. If you follow the boxing book consistently, we may have a down week here or there, but we're going to consistently show you how to make money. And this is a lock. Um, I really like this fight. As a better and as a boxing fan, this is just a really, really good fight. Uh, I'm really, really into this fight. <clears throat> And I think there's good money to be made on this fight. But before we get into it, please like, uh, please follow, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please follow 3D Boxing all forms of social media. Uh, follow, um, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every fight. We'll show you how to bring down the house. The Boxing Bookmakers, the odds makers don't know what they're doing. We can really bring down the house. I can show you exactly how to do that <clears throat> um, with the Boxing Bookie. Um and also, please uh, follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery. That is uh, Autism. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get into uh, today's show. Um, Michael Manisi versus Nike Theron. Um, there's not a ton out there. I found a couple fights on of Nike, and that's his real name, Theron. He's from Colombia. He's born in Colombia. He's born in Dominican Republic. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Uh, Manisi either, but he's fought a few times on uh, on, on some cards. He's, he's fought here in the United States on a star boxing card. He, he's fought on a Frank Warren card on the Joyce uh, Parker undercard. Uh, he's been on, on a couple of fights. Not sure if you guys have paid attention to him, uh, but we'll, let's get into Nike Dion first. <clears throat> so, all right, he, he likes to drop his hands. He likes to show the road, but he likes to come forward. He's somewhat athletic, uh, but he's nothing special. Um, he, he doesn't fire a lot. He'll fire off some quick combination, but he really keeps his hands in his pocket. Um, he's got a decent knockout ratio, um, but he doesn't seem to have a ton of pop. Um, he, he squares up. He's super easy to hit. Um, he hasn't been in with any anyone of all of note yet. Um, I'll pull up his box rec real quick. I'll show you guys exactly what we're de- dealing with. because You wouldn't know this guy unless you uh, search for him on, on YouTube, which I did. Uh, for this fight, because I was interesting and seeing who my paisan was fighting. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, 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 here it is. Does he have his picture on a uh, box rack? Um, you, you look at his, his last fight, Perez, guy seven and ten. Um, he, he fought, um, Osvaldo Cabrera Santana, I couldn't find that fight, so I watched the Rafael Hernandez fight and the Perez fight. <clears throat> He's a 32 and 15 fighter who gave him some issues. Um, I don't think much of You see, he'll make real easy mistakes. He likes to come forward. Um, he, 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 he likes to fight off the front foot. Um, he's kind of unorthodox and unconventional. Um, he's super easy to hit. Um, he doesn't seem like the biggest hitter. He comes forward and he swarms. Um, he, he he eats a lot of shots. He squares up. He crosses his feet. He doesn't throw. You know he's wild. He's easy to counter. Um, I think he's going to walk into a lot of big shots. You look at his resume. I mean, to get this guy to eighteen and zero with twelve knockouts. I mean, that's had to have some really really careful matchmaking to get him there because he's not that good. Like in in in, in all honesty, like. He's not that good. Um, so that's half of it. Um, yep. Yeah, so I said Michael Manisi and Anthony Kachachi again. Um, so there's not much to like about him. You know, he throws – he'll fire off some combinations. Um, his speed is okay. There's just not a whole lot. Um, as far as Manisi, um, he's decent. 
right? Like he's a come forward fighter. He can switch between the conventional and and author, uh conventional and southpaw stance. Um, you know, he got a good tight little package. He keeps it tight. He keeps it in. He rips up and cuts. He fires to the body. He's a good inside pressure fighter. When I say a good inside pressure fighter, is he going to be a world champion? No, he's not going to be a world, a world champion. Uh, but he's much busier. He's much more accurate. He doesn't have the sloppy habits that Theron has. So he should win this fight. And he seems like the much bigger hitter. Right, it seems like his punches do more damage, even though his knockout percent isn't spectacular. It seems like his punches are. We have a guy walking straight in who's not busy, who's not a punter. Like this is a recipe for a stoppage. Um, I, I think I Manisi can get a body shot stoppage. I, I, I think he can stop him combination of shots to the head over time. Um, but I definitely see Manisi winning this fight. Right, man, usually he's gotten better. If you go back and watch the Kotachi fight and you watch his earlier fights, he's much better at moving his head, right? And for someone who's coming in, you got to be able to slip shots. And, and you saw him do a lot better. In that Kotachi fight, a lot of people think he won that fight. He didn't get the right, you know, he didn't come up on the right side of that. Um, but he's got a legitimate shot, right? Like he, he, was, he was in the fight. He was competitive. A lot of people thought he won. It's you know, he, he's an Italian fighter going into England, didn't get the decision. That's not a shock, but he may have deserved it. I mean, I'm not saying it was a robbery or anything like that. I scored it for him again, watching it again, uh, but that's debatable. Um, again, he's not a good defensive fighter either, so this is going to be combustion. Uh, but I just think that when you look at everything Manisi can do, cleaner shots, less bad habits, busier, more pop, more combinations. He's good at cutting off the ring, uh, but he hasn't fought a real fast fighter. But that's okay because Nike's not a real fast fighter either. So I, I don't think that's going to be the bottom of a problem. Um, if he can move his head like we saw in his last fight, this should be a relatively easy fight for him. He's still going to eat some shots because he's not good defensively, but he should be able to steamroll Nike. So let's take a look at the odds on this fight. Let's pull up DraftKings. Again, guys, I don't bet. Uh, I'm in Texas. I use DraftKings. You can't even uh, make a bet on DraftKings uh, in Texas. Um, but I want to show you what we're betting on this fight so that you guys can make money on it. Um, all right. So the first fight. All right. So the, the, the bet, man, you see a huge betting favorite. He's minus 650. This is a two times bet. He's definitely going to win this fight. Right, so the two times bet on minus six fifty is not going to make you a ton of money. Um, so uh, two hundred dollar bet going to make you thirty bucks. It's not great, but we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to make money on this. Michael Manisi by KO TKO or DQ. Pretty good odds of this happening. Minus one fifty. So that's um minus. Uh, minus 150. So $100 bet there makes you $66. So just off the 66, 66, so just off of this $300 bet, we're making 100 bucks. Now we're going to take that 100 bucks and we're going to put it on. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we're not going to put it on over 500. We're going to put it on. So sorry about that. Under a nine and a half rounds. Now, this is a 10 round fight. All right. So, I mean, it's a 10-round fight, right? Oh, it's a 12-round fight. My bad. It's a 12-round fight. Still, uh, I, I would take this to go under the nine and a half rounds. Um, they, they just changed that, I think. I checked this morning. It was 10. It changed it to 12. All right. I could be wrong. Sorry about the bumps. Either way, I'm not changing my pick. Uh, under nine and a half rounds. So that gives you up until the middle of the 10th round for him to get that stop. I, I think that works. Um, so that gets you another 66, 66. So the whole thing is going to make you, you know, about 200 bucks on, on a, on a 400 dollar bet. We're going to go two times on man. You to win. Um, uh, and then we're going to take him by KO and we're going to take him under nine and a half. Uh, I think these are locks. I, I think he'll stop them pretty quickly. You know, if you pull up Manisi, right, like his last couple of fights have gone the distance. Uh, but prior to that, he got stoppage at the stoppage because he does seem like he can hit. You know, he fought two guys who were movers who did, wouldn't stand in front of him, and they went the distance because 
He's flawed and he can be hit. But before that, look, third round knockout, first round knockout, fifth round knockout, fourth round knockout. Six, and, and these are guys, six round knockout, who are more at the level of Nike Theron. And Nike Theron's not a defensive guy. We don't know about his chin because he's never really been tested. So I, I think this is a pretty safe bet. Um, I, I do. I, I think it's a pretty safe bet. Um, and, and this is going to be this week's Stone Cold Lock. So put your money on Man Yeezy. Uh Two times bet to, to win. And then we're going to take him under nine and a half and do it by TK, OK, or DQ. Should make some decent money on this. Again, he's a heavy favorite, and he should be. Uh, but this is the, this stone cold lock of the week. My prediction is a seventh round knockout, um, seventh round TKO for a man see. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the boxing bookie who brings you the best boxing advice. Show you how to bring down the house on every major fight. Uh, please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is October 26, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.